anyone whose family has been personally and heavily impacted by the Holocaust and anti-Semitism on a whole. I know how easy it is to get caught up in feelings of helplessness, cynicism, and desperation when reflecting on the tremendous impact and legacy of these events. And while this is certainly a large part of our history, we must never forget that although we cannot change the past, we must look not only to remember, but to learn from it, and to work to change the present and future for the better, to ensure that none of this occurs again. And this exhibit reminds us of the good that can come when a community stands together and stands up for others when the risk of doing so is so very high. Once you see the stories where even the simplest demonstration of personal respect and human dignity requires enormous courage, I think it becomes far easier to stand up for one another in times when the risk is so much less. Amidst the time of tension, conflicts, violence, and injustice, when people are being singled out and targeted with hate speeches simply because of their ethnic or religious background, remembering the Holocaust serves as a <coughs> warning from the past. And celebrating the courage of these Muslim Albanians stands tall as a symbol of hope that all of us will give our decent give our pledge of honor not to remain indifferent to the suffering of one another. This is a code of honor. It's in Albanian culture, in Albanian population. It's the code that we do not break during the Holocaust. It was a time when Albanians continued to do what they always did. Albanians in Kosovo and in Albania help Jews. It was the, probably the only country in the world where the number of Jews increased, where they were accepted as a part of the families, the head of a family. When Germans came and heard that there is a Jew family there, and they wanted to know which one, which of the sons is the Jew, but he didn't have a chance to save all of them. He pointed to his son and saved the Jew that he took by Bessa in his house. Usually there are so many sad stories. There is so many hatred, so much hatred spread around the world. And Bessa, and the time when Albanians saved Jews, is the story that needs to be told in every time, showing that there is a light in the dark times. As a daughter belonging, to both the Jewish and Albanian and Shai people, both who have known suffering and brutality. I am honored to call my home Kosovo and proud of the Albanians that saved the lives of Jews during the most difficult times of history. My grandmother's life, Ruth Bahar, was saved by my Albanian grandfather. We as a Jewish community of Kosovo, we are not representing numbers, we are not representing statistics, that we are representing a history where the Albanians have the role of bravery. 